Hi guys, this is Massa from the Great White North. So today we have a tutorial video on how to play Genesis using a webcam and Discord. So like if you don't have a shop next to you, you can still play, it's pretty easy and actually I love it. And so the first phase, this is my desk, as you can see. So I have a screen, I have a keyboard, I have a mouse, I have a webcam and I have an arm. And we don't need to use the arm first, but I want to show you two setup. So the first setup, <clears throat> so like that, I remove my keyboard um, when I want to play Genesis. And then I put my playmat here, as you can see. And the next step is, I have a webcam like that. I will put the reference under uh, that uh, Logitech. It's, it's a very good one and it's like $100 uh, Canadian. And but there are many like cheaper models, but this one is good. And what you do is you can tilt it like that, and then it's facing the table, uh, and then that's that's all done. That's the only like high tech thing that you need to be done. I show another setup. I also have a tree arm. Um, I don't know how you call it. Um, and this pretty simple too. You can just this one. I pay like thirty five dollars on Amazon. I will put the link below. I put the playmat under, and I actually use my phone. Because uh, I have an iPhone on the, uh, the Zoom, there is a wide lens and uh, it allows me to see everything. But you can also put a webcam here. That's a very clean solution. It's just I'm lazy, so I use the, the webcam on top. I find it more easy. And yeah, and you click, you, you click, uh, you you go to Discord when you are when you are set up, and you use this one as your camera. The only thing is, if you use your phone as your recording device. For Discord, you're gonna need to have uh, two accounts: one for your webcam and one for your, uh, you know, uh, voice and looking at your opponent. Because otherwise, you would have to look at the screen here. So me, I do like the the top camera, like I just show you. But this is what I use when I want to record well, or I use a sometimes a DSLR. Um, I have this nice little Olympus. It's pretty good. So yeah, I mean, cheapest and simplest is a webcam. So now we're gonna see, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna do a game with my friend Will, and uh, you will see how we actually do the game. And uh, you will see it's very smooth and very fast. All right, guys, so we're gonna demonstrate how to play with a uh, Discord and uh, just two webcam like I just show you. It's pretty easy. We both show uh, our play mat uh, to each other. And what what we do is like I have my deck, so we're gonna play with starter deck just to make things easier. I'm playing the Idiris uh, Idiris starter deck, so I start here. And uh, Will is playing Raha. And the way it's gonna work is, you know, we're gonna play some creature, some card. We show which one we play to each other. Like if you play with webcam, with you know, flesh and blood, magic, Digimon, or whatever. You have to find kind of a way just to make it make things easier to represent your opponent creature on your field. So, for example, um, Will, can you play a creature in front of your Raha? Whatever it is. So, there is three ways. Okay, he play. So, also one thing that it makes things a bit easier is he have his Raha on the right. So, let's do the same. I play Idiris on the left. So you play, uh, it's called a Jail Aryan Hunt. Uh, just to make things easier, when you play a card, try to show it to your opponent. To be sh so be it a, you know, a summon or whatever, so that they can know which card you are playing. And actually there are not so many summons in Genesis. There are about 50-ish. So you can make a side deck with one copy of each summons. And when your opponent play it, uh, well, you play, you play, you put them on the board so that you, it's easier for you to understand where the the pieces are. And to well, so you have three ways. The easiest one, I mean, the cheapest basic way, is you you just use a counter, uh, and then you don't really you can look at your opponent and you can just say there is a card here, or you can make a token card where you just print. The, the art of the card, or you can write it on a piece of paper, but the best way I think to do it is not that expensive, is you you just make a, you know, you make what I call an online pack, 
with one copy of each of the summons that are in, in Genesis so, so far. So it's about like 50 cards, uh, 50, 60, and we're gonna sell those uh, at infinity once we receive all our boxes. So you can just buy like an online pack with one copy of each card, or you can have like, you can also buy like one play set with one copy of each card in general second edition. And then, you know, you have the, those next to you and when you open and play a card, you can just see, okay, well he's playing Je uh, the Jelion Hunt. I'm just gonna put it wherever he's putting it. So it's, it's and it's not like you are wasting anything, it's still card in your collection. And, and then it's very easy because then you have all the cards in front of you. You don't have to look too much at the, what your opponent is doing. You can really look at the board. And like, let's say you have a full alpha collection or a full beta collection where well, you can use whatever version of the card. You can pimp it up a bit. So it's kind of fun. So anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna do a game like this and you're gonna see that's extremely easy to do. Um, so first we're gonna roll two dice to see who go first. So I roll nine. Seven. So I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna go second. And good luck. Good luck. So first turn we draw six plus one for the beginning of turn. I'm gonna step forward. Okay, so I just copy what he's moving. I will pay eight aura for a cattail tiger comes in exerted. So when somebody, you know, to track life or to track um, aura, you can either use a, there is an app for this, or you can write it on a piece of paper, or you can trust your opponent. I would not trust your opponent. So I use a piece of paper. Uh, so you can. You cast, uh, sorry, can you show me again which one you cast? I cast a cattail tiger, so I'll hold it to the Yeah, screen. so I, I check in my little list of beastie and I just put it the same way you did it and it come exerted. Yep. I will pay seven more aura right, for so an Andrew Thera. I'm writing that he spent seven aura, so you go to 80. Yeah, so I take this from my little list of all beasties. Placing that behind me. Okay. Gonna exert it. And that will be my turn. Okay. So now it's it's my turn. I have only one uh, creature or hero, so it's Idris. And I'm gonna I don't think I want to move specially. Um you know, that's why I like to have the card in front of me. I could just, you know, imagine what it is, but it's it makes it so much easier. I'm gonna play a baboon, so I show it uh, to Will, so he can know which card I'm playing, so he can take it from his side deck. And I'm paying um, 9 auras, so I go to 116. It's, it's coming to play exerted, and then there is a blitz trigger. Do you have any reaction? No response. So it's removed. Forgot to put the token on Raha. And I'm gonna put one of my furry beasties, which is uh, Pure Noun, aka Zombie Hunt. So zombie I show hunt. it to Will so that he knows which card I'm playing. And I'm gonna put it here. And this costs 15. So I go to 101. And it's coming to play. Exert it and actually have no more summon and I didn't move before my main so I can't do anything else except shooting a little fireball and is Andro Terra only one life so I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot a fireball on it. So I'm telling Will I use Idris Fireball ability targeting Andro, uh, Andro Tsera, the one in the back of Raha. If you have no response, no response. it gets destroyed. Just you have to be careful it doesn't go in your cemetery, it just come back to your kind of side deck. It is in his cemetery. Uh, but this, I guess, you can trust your opponent for their own cemetery, you don't need to, their own graveyard. 
you don't need to copy it. And so Idiris is exerted. And now the only creature not exerted is a baboon. Correct. And the baboon gonna I'm gonna move one. And then I'm gonna um attack the the tiger. Sadly it's not enough to kill it, but so I'm gonna do heavy attack three targeting the tiger. And uh do you do anything? Nope. Down to one health. So you go down to one health. So you can put a little dice like that. And there is no more creatures that can do anything. So that's the end of round one. And uh, we remove that. And now it's round two. And it comes back to wheel. We will both draw a card. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Cattail has a heavy attack, so it'll stay here, and it'll attack your baboon for three. Yeah, so I'm just looking if there's anything I can do, because my poor baboon gonna die. Sadly, I don't have anything that the baboon can do. So, yeah, he's gonna die. Bye-bye, baboon. Like I said, the goal is not to show like how to play well, it's just to show technically how to play with a webcam. So I guess okay, um, I have nothing else on the end phase of Cattail Tiger, so I will pass it to you. All right. It's okay. I'm going to move one with Idiris. I'm going to shoot a fireball at the Tiger, being five aura, so I go down to 91. So no response. Tiger is it dies. dead. And... Then I pass back to you. I will step forward one. Mm -hmm. I will pay eight aura. Okay. I'll place a walls in front of your hound. That's something I forgot to say. Um, I made a list of all the summon in J2, and but in this list I also in, in included the alteration because it's very useful to have. You know, you put a wall next to me, and it's useful to have it next to me. All those cards, most likely, most of them are common or uncommon, so it's very easy to get them. Yes. Yeah. So I place it in front of the hound. Oh, in front of the hound. I see. Hmm, not so good um, for me. And then I will play a Cabus. Mm -hmm. And I will discard a left hook. So I just mirror what he's doing, and he's mirroring what I'm doing. Um, okay, that comes in exerted. I will hit, use my first ability of two damage directly at Idris. Yeah, and she goes down to 23. And then you exit it. Yeah. Back to you for the... No, it's, a, it's my turn. I have only the wolf. I can't really move forward. Um, so either I can move like here or here. And I think I prefer to move like that. And then he's exerted. End of turn. You're going to take one damage. Go down to five life. And we remove all the exert and we're gonna go to round three. Did we miss the trigger on the first round, I think? I think we did. So, so let's do one more. Yes. Yeah. Gonna hey, die draw. before you can. Yep. Yeah. I have so many cards in my hand. Mm, that's your turn. Side. Attack Idris. For two. Um, yeah, the side is not cool. Uh, yep, yeah, I will take two. Luckily, Idris have quite a lot of life. 
then it's exactly the Arcabus. Correct. Back to you, as end of Cabus's turn. Yeah, so I have eight cat in my hand. Um, so I feel when I play Driss against something like Raha, I just destroy this creature and then then kill him. Um, Cabus have only two life, so it means I can kill it with a fireball. But I think that's maybe a waste of a fireball. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn and then I go to my main phase and I will play a Rampage Toss. So it costs five energy. I don't have any energy reduction, so I remove four cards. One, two, three, four. Targeting Cabus for two damage. No response. Okay. So resolve. Cabus is dead. Uh, I steal my main phase. I'm gonna cast a zombie wolf, sorry, like that, which is really not the best. But I didn't want to waste a fireball on the cabal, so that costs 15 aura, so I go down to 76. And, and that's all for, and well, before that, I will shoot a fireball to you. Raha, so I go to 71. And do you have any response? No. Oh. So you go to 20. Go to 20. And that's the end of Idris' turn. Come back. Raha's turn. Mm -hmm. I will pay. If you have a bull shot, that's sad, but. 17 aura. Okay, that's a lot. For chain lightning at 55, right? Mm -hmm. Chain lightning, okay. yes. Chain lightning, I will do three, two, one. Three, two, one. All right, so it's gonna take four damage. We're going to two. Three, two. And Idris lose two life, so she's at 19. And then. I will use Raha's second ability, mm -hmm. milling, discarding off the top two cards and dealing one damage to both. Yeah. So let's go to one and it will go down to 18. Okay. And sorry, he's exerted him. That is, and I am exerted. Yeah. And you have your other hand. This one. Well, it's still far, but I'm still gonna move closer. One, two, and I will call it end of turn. Hey, no reaction. End of turn. No, no reactions. These no. both lose a life. Yeah, so this one, one is will dead. die. And we remove the exert, and we go to round four. How many cards do you have in hand? Draw. I now have three cards in hand. Yeah. This wall was very annoying. I'll move like this. Yeah. I will use her attack to deal two damage to the wolf. Two damage to the wolf. Okay. Um, and that's my turn. That's what I soaked. So, hmm. So I'm gonna do one move on rotation. And I'm gonna attack Raha with a wolf for four damage. In response, I will use a quick shot. Mm -hmm. Can you show it, please? Yeah. I'm not sure what it does. Uh, this way. Yeah. Oh, quick shot. My camera is upside down, I think. No, no, I can okay. read it. I mean, I can't really read it, but uh, so it's swift on how much damage? One damage. Okay, so it's dead before it does any damage. We take one card out of your hand, so I'm pretty happy. 
and then it's Idris turn. I'm gonna move and rotate. I'm gonna play a Shadow Plow. Ouch. Uh, so that costs four energy. Three. And that's three damage. No it, response. Yeah, it is three damage. So you take four, you go to 16. I will let Three you... damage, right? Yeah, sorry, 17. I will let it resolve because I don't want something strange to happen. And I'm gonna play another one. Resolves? Yeah, no response from me? Yeah, one, two, three, four. So you go to 14. And. Hmm. I think the rest I can just keep in my hands. And uh, I have 71 aura. Uh, I, I think it's not really worth the extra damage. I'm just going to punch you. For one? Yep. Okay. And no you, response. You go to 13. And is that the end? End of round. Round. You go guard. And you go first. A seven for a Andrew Thera. Mm -hmm. So you go to uh, forty eight and you play the Andrew behind me. Andrew Thera and you put it behind you. So it it when you play online is very good if you could say like front, left, right, back instead of back, yep. here. Oh, back. Sorry. I mean here is okay, but. Uh, it, it just behind me or in front yeah, of yeah like just just try ah. or north south east west but I, I i do like front left right back. back um okay so it's on it's, it's the back position. it's exerted and then to end raha's turn i will shoot uh or use my first ability to attack idris for two damage yeah so uh, you know what I will play Oten. Sure. One, two, four, five, six. Let me move here. So you targeted this. You, you did the range attack, right? Not the yes, range attack. Yeah, I missed. So nothing, yeah. It, so you are exerted now. I am exerted. It's um, your turn. And you have two, three cards in hand. Two cards in hand. Two cards in hand. Um, I'm gonna play. Uh, hmm. No, actually, I'm gonna move one back. And then I'm gonna play a tarantula in front of me. I mean to play. I don't think those cards are so good, but I'm gonna play them. I will play Flame Jet targeting Raha, so it costs sure. me 7 aura. So 71 minus 7, that's 64. So 2 damage for Raha, she go to 11, except if you have a response. Yep. No response. And I have one more, so I do it. Yep. No response. You go to nine and uh, it costs seven aura, so I go to 57. And finally, hmm, do I care about the dog? I think I don't. It's a, it's a lion, not a dog. I'm gonna just fireball you. So you use five more aura, so go to sure. two and you lose two life. You go to seven and it race become exerted. And That's we are in the round. Yep. I will play a wind slash. Ooh, sorry, you had something. Wind slash. Wind slash. So what does it do? Two damage. I'm targeting the tarantula. I pay five aura for that. Yeah, you pay five aura. And one energy. Yeah. Forty-three, and so the tarantula take two damage. So it was at four life. So it go. It have two life left. Okay. Next round. Yep. Go ahead. I'm 
haven't decided. I'll yep. pack Idris for two. Ah, oh, from here, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm good. And I'm still at sixteen. So. I'll let that attack resolve. Mm -hmm. In response to Raha's end phase, mm -hmm. I will have Andrathera deal two damage to the tarantula. Okay. So you do this now, so that you know that she will not move. Oh, attack, I guess. So yeah. I'm exerted. Yep. Yeah. Both of them, right? Yes. Now it's my turn. I will move one left and rotate right. To be like that. Then I'm gonna cast a baboon. Cost nine aura. So I go to forty three. And it come into play exerted, and there is a trigger blitz. Any reaction? No reaction. Okay, and then throw a fireball at you. Mm -hmm. Go to 38 aura, and you go to 5. And then Idris is exerted. That's going to become the baboon turn. I'm going to do one move to my left and I'm gonna attack for three yep yeah, attack for three no reaction I'm assuming no reaction yeah, you have two and the baboon is exerted and at the end of the round so we anyway, no response no nope. yeah how no. much word do you have left I have 38 so yeah it's pretty much bananas for you Draw my card. I will go out with a bang, I guess. A bolt shot. Uh, thunderstruck. Okay. Can you show it to the camera, please? Yep. So that does how much damage? Five damage. And that's everywhere, right? Just to you. Oh, okay. Directly. Uh, well, I, I don't have any reaction, so I go to 11. And then... I will hit you for two. Actually, I do have a reaction. No, well, that no, doesn't work. It's okay. And then you shoot me for two. Okay. Yeah. So go to nine. And I think that's game because you can just fireball me. So. Yes. And I will do that. I will pay two <laughs> aura. Good, uh, three, five aura. I go to 33 and I fireball you. And I'll be done. Yeah. The last ah. turn, I, I messed up. I, I, I moved here to play Fork Lightning, but the thing I didn't oh. want to kill my baboon. No, no, yeah, no. <laughs> that was not cool. Well, thanks. So I think you saw, guys, that was pretty pretty easy to follow. Um, you just need to have the, you know, one copy, at most two copy of each of the, uh, of the summon in the set, but there are not that many, so... Uh, so I made a list, and uh, I will post the list uh, in the in the comment below, uh, uh, in the description below, and and we will have one of each card of J two from this list, and also we will have one of each card of J two as a set if you want to buy some. Um, but typically with one box you should have one of each yeah, card. But uh, it's always good to have an extra set. So I will try to open and sell a lot of singles. So it's pretty cool.